Hey guys, we are starting week number 19. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's have a look directly what's going on here. As you can see, it's very quiet day because today is Galungan, which is national uh, celebration and all Balinese uh, having day off. Um, but just last uh, two, three days, our workers were able to finish these stairs, which really look beautiful. Uh, so much change with the white color on it. So Tongi already was uh, <laughs> uh, trying it out and going up. Uh, I didn't have the courage yet. So yeah, for me, it's still unknown how it's gonna look from up there. Uh, but very happy with this progress and and yeah let's have a look what's happening there so today is wednesday and mid of the week uh, tongi was working every day and planting just new plants and taking care of the garden uh, as you can see he's just digging out the bits from from the banana which will be removed to make space for for new plants I can see yeah. again hmm? this is a banana that produces unedible bananas so here it's just used for the leaves which are used for offerings so because we have a bit too many bananas we are unfortunately removing this it's also kind of a really good location it's got sun all day and we have we're gonna put a uh, red pomelo here mm -hmm. like a big citrus this is really juicy juicy fruit yeah but also this banana producing beautiful big flowers that are great for um, curries and just to be fried so that That's might cool, be we, pretty. the one in the entrance there yeah we have quite a bit of them now so it's all right and as you can see we have a new family member Mulan. hello so this is little girl that we rescued a few days ago so now we we went to to the vet and uh, find out that she has scabies which is like a skin disease like little animals are under the skin which is very itchy and it needs proper treatment so she got some antibiotics lot of pills uh, we need to put cream on her and also take her separate from sungai and nalam because they can get it and also for us it's a bit dangerous so we have to be careful and <laughs> just wash our hands like a billion of times per day uh, but hopefully she will be okay soon but it might take up to three weeks and also Tongi removed the mung beans that were here so I already have at home big bowl to extract and dry a bit and we are gonna store it for now and maybe plant it a little bit later as you can see what's we happening <laughs> we had enough we have beautiful massive uh, pumpkin plants uh, it's starting to flower if I'm not wrong Yeah, something definitely happening here uh, oy, 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 oy. Tongi also planted some melon and on the other side uh, we removed another banana and we plant this citrus that seems gonna be producing a lot I uh, look how beautiful it look like so yeah we want definitely more plants like this that we can be using uh, every day just for drinks uh, than having too many bananas as we have for this moment uh, also the rosella growing really well the second one uh, is a bit lost for this moment but hopefully it will recover soon and lately i've been harvesting some thai aubergine which is this one uh, this one is also ready to be harvested 
basically you shouldn't wait too long when is it too big or starting to be yellow otherwise it has too many seeds and not it's not very good for cooking and this tomato plant just getting crazy it's full of tomatoes maybe too many it doesn't uh, even start becoming red for this moment so uh, hopefully it's not too many fruits and also this other aubergine just start growing now it's gonna be the classic type so i can't wait to see it growing how much time it's gonna take and it has so many flowers so it might be a lot uh, and this mint for this moment is being eaten by grasshoppers so it's not uh, very nice to see but we are applying some um, some products natural products so hopefully we'll be able to save it and yeah even this uh, thai basil it's so tasty we just use it today um, for spaghetti with tomato sauce and it was amazing so yeah it's uh, growing really well uh, even here we planted these peas uh, which are growing quite well even though being a little bit yellow for this moment but yeah it will survive and hopefully soon we will have some nice green peas and this cucumber plant is doing also great it has so many flowers and I just realized that we have this cucumber like out of nowhere it almost seems it's grown over the night and it's so cool hopefully um, more will come soon but the plant is really growing very fast climbing up I might have another here so beautiful progress and as you can see butterfly pea is just expanding all of them so we need to keep harvesting and getting rid of <laughs> banana suckers yeah. it takes a while it's been a while since I took video last time uh, maybe like one week but uh, a lot of things is happening in the garden but not so many things um, regarding the house so first of all I would like to share with you how this garden going crazy like everything is flowering you have like new peppers coming and really everything grown so much as you can see we planted we planted a lot of stuff lately I already show everything in previous videos, Lasko. Yes, it's, you see it's from here all the way up there. <laughs> so, so yeah, a lot of stuff is happening. I, especially this little one is happening, Mulan. Wait, 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 you have to introduce yourself. This is Mulan. Yes, our new baby. <laughs> she likes to walking on under the feet so people can stepping on her. Um, and yeah, so a lot of flowers, a lot of vegetables. Everything is happy. Especially because we finally <laughs> brought water all the way here. So we can easily watering everything with clean water, not the water from Subak as before which was uh, potentially full of chemicals so so yeah now we can be sure that the water is clean directly from our well how are you great uh, landfill is done that's the uh, that's the big news basically but, uh, since construction was on a break we were doing earthworks. earthworks earthworks yeah let's have a look and first of all i need to show this butterfly pea 
I can't even harvest it anymore. Of course I can, but <laughs> just every day too much. So yeah, yeah, let's have a look uh, how the landfill look like. Here we are. Can you even recognize it? So as you can see, there is Nala and Dogo. Dogo is a dog of our neighbors, but he become our dog. And yep, this is still same same uh, land as it was before, but now it's it's fully covered with soil. Uh, we just left this trench, which Tongi was digging today, and this gonna be the main stream that will lead the grey water and the rainwater towards there where is the um, dry pond so yeah it's quite deep and uh, there will be gravel and after a big pipe and again gravel uh, by the time probably we will build little bridge over here that will go towards the house so yeah this is big news and the land just look completely different it's like so much space pop up uh, so as you can see Tongi already start mulching it over there to avoid erosion of the soil uh, especially because the soil right now is a bit powdery so when it's wind um, it's flying around and there haven't been so much rain lately so uh, it uh, didn't have time to compact uh, as you can see, here's the dry pond, uh, we got some uh, reeds, uh, so it's the first plants that will be here because they are resistant to water, but they can survive in water and uh, also when it's dry. Uh, so it's gonna be our main plant. Also, as you can see, we brought some nice pieces of wood from the beach, floating wood, which will be on the edge of the, of the pond. Uh, so yeah, uh, on the other side, I already showed you last time, it's looking like that. So for this moment, we're keeping it very open and we are not planting much because we still need to do terrace here and like a wooden deck. So after that, we will start planting some things. So the house is still here, <laughs> still looking good. But as we said, uh, didn't improve in past few weeks or past one week as we're still waiting for some decisions uh, to be made uh, from our architect. We're still waiting for the plants that should be updated these days. And uh, also we have to pay for the previous phase and send the first payment for the second phase. So just don't get moved here, the big barrel so the water flow is much better and we need just shorter hose but the barrel will go up there when time is right so yeah so this is it and uh, yeah I would just like to show you some some beautiful produce of our garden so as you can see here is one big papaya on this other tree you can see there are already three of them, so it's really great. And I will teleport to the other side to show you the rest. And on the other side of the land, you can see this beautiful melon uh, full blooming. So hopefully the fruit's gonna start coming soon. It's like that, but especially what make us really happy are these jackfruits it's so crazy to have own jackfruits in the garden especially this tree is really old so as you can see it has a lot of fruits everywhere and and yeah we're gonna enjoy this plus this papaya also having a lot of small babies so more papaya to come um a part of that this bed is mostly for trees for this moment Especially you can see here the neem tree uh, lately we were using a lot of neem oil uh, especially for our new puppy who has cubbies so uh, we are really happy that we have own neem tree and we will be able to use it after 
or when it's more mature. Mulan, hey, are you crazy? You see, she is still like naked skin, so we giving her massage every day and yeah, just giving a lot of love and good food and hopefully soon she will be um, fully healed. So yeah, so this is the garden and uh, as you can see everything growing really crazy even like these pumpkins they are just must all the way to there to connect with <laughs> the neighboring pumpkins so yeah these plants are really happy here uh, also the citrus there growing well of course cassava i'm not even mentioning and what else are those? Let's teleport over there. We have here this beautiful rosella which really flowering so much. Maybe you saw my uh, video that I post lately. I was making rosella jam which was a really great idea because it's super yummy and the plant is still full of flowers, full of good stuff that can be used for teas and yeah we move here on the other side look at this like this tomato plant just got crazy it has so many tomatoes um they coming slowly like it's always like two at a time that coming so we are happy to have own tomatoes already and also big guy here our first long aubergine that looks absolutely beautiful and yeah we can't wait to to try him um, yeah a part of that here didn't change much uh, we just plant some peas but it's not doing well for this moment only this guy survived but we planted like eight of them and most of them just um, died because the soil here is quite dry uh, it doesn't keep moisture very well so we will have to give it to more love and and see what we can do about it so yeah the the garden is still changing still so much improvements as you can see here we got delivery of coconuts as we would like to do new big bed that will be right there so yeah, this will be the new spot. Here was the big pile of Jeremy that Tongi was moving today. And we will replace it with nice beautiful bed that will be ready for planting. And also we need to get rid of this guy because he's taking so much sunshine and uh, creating too much shade that is not good for our plants, especially for our avocado. So yeah, still a lot of improvements to be done. And as you can see, Tongi is unstoppable. He's spending hours and hours of his life in this garden, but he enjoying it even if his bad back hurts. <laughs> this is longevity spinach. It's uh, edible leaves, uh, raw or cooked. It's a pretty awesome plant, difficult to find actually, uh, and yeah, we're planting two uh, today. We got it uh, just yesterday. Got it delivered from a dude in Dempasar who sells medicinal plants. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. It's uh, um, full of flavonoids and antioxidants and stuff like that. It's actually not a spinach. It's closer to the family of um, sunflowers actually um, but uh, yeah it's a great it's a great new ally in the garden show us the miracle of the garden yeah it's a, just a little guy for now but it should take up uh, mm -hmm. this whole area so we're trying this spot here and then we're gonna try a full shade spot because it doesn't like direct sun so mm -hmm. we're gonna try over there all right. Yeah. Thank you for this explanation. Yes, you're very welcome. <laughs> so, what do you have here? <laughs> it's a yam. The question is, 
How deep is this yam? How deep is Look this yam? Look very deep. I really need to know. Cause I'm destroying my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Digging the yams. I started, I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be quick. And, yeah. and it just doesn't end. Wow, it, it's a massive root. It's a massive root. And so, yeah, as you know, it's, it's edible. It's super nutritious and I've been digging this for yeah, a good half hour. I mean, I got deep the thing is and like no sight and yeah, I'm sorry to hit my hands on the stones around it because um, And the roots around are massive as well, huh? Yeah. Well, he's been here for a while since we arrived to the land. Yeah. And it's like... Ah, it's starting to slightly, slightly move. Earlier it was like, <coughs> like a stone in the ground. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta use a... Uh, I think you can just, it. yeah, link it out. Just take this out is enough because I don't think it's worth taking out the whole thing. It's gonna be super difficult anyway. Yes. Okay. Mulan! So it's out with help of Lingis. It was quite fast. Yes, yeah, because I, I took out all the rest around. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be dinner for a few days. Jesus, so I need to research how to cook it. Yep, you do. <laughs> Thank you. Yam recipes. Mm hmm. This is, I mean, I guess there, uh, there are lots of types of yams. This is just one type. But, whew, that's a good three kilos. Wow, oh, it's massive. It's massive. As you can see, we're trying to design a new bed. <laughs> For this moment, we're just using banana leaves to kind of um, do the edges to figure out how it could work uh, probably we would do here the keyhole to be able to access in the um, in the side of the bed and also we're gonna pro probably connect it uh, with these beds and yeah just use this space which is quite massive and full of sun every day so yeah turn it or something more productive and, and yeah plant as much as possible what would you plant here babe oh, look at, there's a lot of space and well especially because we're removing that tree today yeah be, today we're sun. gonna anyway, cut this one anyway there's a lot of sun in this spot uh, now this is the lowest point if you look around like uh yeah this is the lowest point of, of the garden so. yeah before we were actually thinking to build a pond here yeah but as we have one over there here is not necessary yeah there's too much sun here for a pond yeah um so so basically you put plants that like uh, a lot of water i think we can definitely have uh a tree in the middle for example uh-huh right here because it would just block a bit of sun behind it. Uh, that would be that would be okay. You can plant shady stuff behind it, and so yeah, all around just sunny plants. Just hey guys, uh, I completely forgot to show you how we finish our bed because we were really busy that day, and after we went for extended weekend, uh, location called Sidemen. So today we came back to the land, Tongi have been working all day and um, yeah, I just want to show you quickly how the bed look like now. So yeah, this is it. This is it. Uh, the bed has nice C shape, it has keyhole inside, so it's gonna be easy to, to reach from uh, any point we want. This is the the view from inside. Uh, now there been a cow, no cow, horse manure dump in plus a bit of uh, mulch and some other stuff from the garden. 
you will have to cook it for a couple of days maybe a couple of weeks until the soil will be ready for planting also same thing happening here we connected these two beds i'm not sure uh, what is this jeremy inside <laughs> but i guess it has it has some purpose so yeah so it's done it looks really great it's bringing a lot of new opportunities for planting and uh, and yeah we finishing uh, no we finished weekend 21 as I was saying before uh, much wasn't happening regarding the house uh, so we were just working uh, in the garden and actually what's happening uh, Tongi decided that in this area where was the landfill we would uh, start growing our own agroforest so for this moment it's just um, a little bit of plants hello hey. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to tell me what is there uh, what is where in our agroforest here uh, okay <laughs> the challenge is that there is like 50 to 60 centimeters of really crappy sandy soil. dust. Dust. It's not even soil, it's really dust. Like it blows away when there's wind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's like, ah, because I'm doing like a course on ecosystem restoration and one of the like biomes that we study is arid landscapes. And this is like typically we have an arid landscape. Exactly so Tongi here. is perfect playground. Yeah, so here we're going to try and restore this soil um, with a two-row agroforest. Um, Let me just show you the... I mean, it's like half cheating because there's one row that's along... Yeah, that's how it is. Um, so the first thing we did was cover it, uh, of course. So there is like uh, str well, rice straw, we've got grass clippings. I made this path here, which is sawdust and wood shavings uh, more straw and grass clippings so that's that's a first which already makes a big difference like during the day if you lift this up it's like it's at least cool underneath and not like hot uh, as it was before like burning from your feet um, and so yeah so here we have pioneers that have been planted so turi it's like a local uh, plant Nitrogen um, fixer. Cisbania <laughs> grandiflora. Uh -huh. what it's called, and this is a cassava, of course. I'm trying it out because it is kind of humid mm -hmm. if you put it in deep, so maybe it'll be okay. And uh, so that's the first row that we're planting. That's the yeah, easy row. Yeah, here will be the first one that was already started long time ago with cassavas and papayas. Papayas, palms. One palm. We got gandaria over there. Gandaria here. Gandaria. Gandaria. So gandaria is a special kind of mango, which uh, produce like little mangoes, which are very sweet and especially growing quite soon. So it's gonna be new try. We never we never tried that uh, mango. Um, actually, I didn't even hear about it. So it's gonna be a little experiment. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so here, as you can see, uh, this is the yeah guard dog. <laughs> this is the dry pond uh, full of these green leaves, uh, which is Cancun. Uh, we just had friends over the other day and they start harvesting that it's really yummy stuff for them so I think I might try to cook it as well uh, so yeah uh, it seems Nala doesn't want me to do longer video for this moment so yeah we just working on the garden mostly Tongi of course you can see it's, it's 7 p.m. almost and he is not unstoppable Digging, digging, digging. <laughs> Making a French drain. Because you are French. I explained already this. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is it for now. Uh, we saying goodbye. Aska say goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully we will be able to bring uh, soon new updates regarding house, which wasn't really moving in past two, three weeks. So. 
yeah hopefully next week we're gonna start again so thanks for watching i hope you enjoy i hope you have fun and yeah see you next week again bye 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 <laughs>